Hello. Mahalo. Wow, you just did not say anything. I disconnected from the server. It threw me off, man. What? Oh, it's probably because my Minecraft for some reason. Every time I click out, it uh, just stops my Minecraft for some reason. Cool. Um, I'm back. <laughs> so, um, welcome, welcome friends. Greetings. To, uh, a fun new world I have created. And, oh, I think that's a desert over there. Ooh. That's good news. Um, also if you hear clicking, it's because Gleen has a, um controller. So our goal here is to mine enough sand to crash Minecraft. So, um, Gween, we have some preparations we need to do. Oh, I was just going for it. <laughs> like, we're not in creative. Right. We need chests. And, um, I suppose you're right. <laughs> like, shovels would also be helpful, I think. Alright. I mean, shovels are great, but you can mind sand about shovels. I know, but they're very, very, very fast. So, um, this is my first solo stream. So, hi. Howdy. Um... I have been streaming, but it has been with my friend, um, Mushroom. Why, why did I forget their name? I have no idea. That was fucking dumb. <laughs> um, anyway, so, why, why is that not breaking? Okay. So, we stream together on one called Search History Streaming, which I do have linked in my bio. Um, and we play a whole bunch of different games, though our two main games tend to be Minecraft and Stardew Valley. And um, my friend Bagels, who currently lives with me, um, has recently been playing Stardew Valley uh, and actually just had her second stream earlier today. And by earlier today, I mean like less than an hour ago is when it ended. Um, and a fun little fact about me and Bagels and Gween and my friend Ball Ball. Oh yeah, Gween is here too. Hi. I don't remember if I introduced her or not. I don't think I introduced myself. Honestly, I was trying to get peanut butter um, to not stick to me. That's right. You did have an Uncrustable right before. <laughs> um... But we all sh use my computer. We all use my PC. So, um, I, my PC, fun fact, is in my bedroom. So I have been present for every bagel stream. All two of them. And... I'm gonna be gross. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Burping is a lot on my stream. Bagels is just a coward. That's fair. I just felt like the audience should have fair warning. It felt like it was going to be gross. It happens. Anyway, so, um, we, um, so yeah, uh, I decided to stream after her, um, and, uh, Gwen, do you want to introduce yourself a little bit? Oh, um, you don't have to. I don't really know how to introduce myself. Just be like, hi, I'm Gween. Hi. They call me Gween. My handle name is Penguino. Um, I guess if you wanted backstory on that, it's my bowling name because I hate bowling. I'm terrible at it, so I kind of waddle when I go up to the whole thing. Mm. <laughs> it's not very fancy. But it's funny, so. Uh, so, uh, uh, another little fun fact about this is that um, me, 
playing Minecraft with Ace. Uh, Mushroom. I mean, they go by both names. Um, was the first time I'd ever played Minecraft in my entire life. And it's only been a couple of months, and even then, it's not been a, like, super productful, productive couple of months. We've had things skip, etc., etc. So, what am I building? A chest. A chest? I was like, why am I collecting all this wood if not to make an infinite number of shovels and chests? I don't know. Um, I've been playing Minecraft pretty much since it came out, but more recently with my friend Swims, I find creative mode is a great way to focus my brain. Um, and also just make some crazy, stupid, whatever I feel like making stuff. I always forget to mute my phone so that when I watch it back again, I don't go, oh, my phone's going off. <laughs> so you got the chest covered. I've almost got shovels. So anyway, the reason we're doing this is because I made a joke that I really wanted an SMP. I wanted my friends to be on an SMP so that I could just go on it and I could just mine sand. And then bagels, uh, made the lovely comment of, oh, um, that would crash the server. So my goal is to see how much sand it takes to crash the server. <clears throat> no, I just had something. Sorry. Oh, it sounded like you were going to say something. No. Nope. So it looks like we got incredibly lucky. We came off on a beach, and with a desert right over there. Um, and then I did allow cheats, I believe. So let me see if I can, yeah. Great, perfect. This is how we will not die of boredom, traveling between them. Because listen, I understand purity. Vaguely. But the main thing that I understand is that watching people walk back and forth between places is absolutely awful and disgusting. What are you doing? I'm putting some of these shovels in so I can make more. Oh, you're making shovels? You wanted shovels. Fuck yeah. I'm going to take these shovels and I'm going to get to mining. Okay. To sanding. What do you mean? Are you ma you wanted shovels and you were making chests. I thought I was in charge of shovels. You should save the rest of the wood and make more chests. Okay, I, I have like four stacks of wood. Yeah, make chests. Trust me, this is not going to be enough. Okay, but I have enough that I can make one more thing of shovels before needing to make chests. Okay. So what I've been doing... Um, in order for, cause trust me, I am an expert when it comes to mining sand. I, what is wrong? Why can't you hear anything? I don't think you have cheats activated because if you did, it would be always daylight. Oh no, that's a completely different one you can have. I always set it to always daylight. Um, because I have a hard time seeing. I have the worst eyesight. Yeah, so generally what I do is I find that it works best if you walk in a straight line. So, um, you start at sea level. And then you just kind of go in a line. And then what I do is I go around and I take dirt blocks. And... I line the outlines and then we're good. And also, Gleen, just want to let you know, um, there is one other item that I love in this game besides sand. Yeah. It's clay. Yeah. So, if you... <laughs> I wouldn't have guessed in a million years. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you... Well, you've read my Twitter. Um, so, if you want to um, collect clay, if it pops up, Please feel free to do so. Okay. 
so this stream is probably not going to be super, super fun just because we're just mining sand. But, you know, I'm sure we will start talking about things. If Gwen and I get too bored, we'll start playing music or something, even though I will be the only person able to hear it. Um, and such will be the way. So, how you doing over there, Gween? I made some more chests and some more shovels. Woop woop! I'm gonna put some shovel and chest stuff in here with the sand I've already collected. And then just take as many shovels as my Minecraft bar can carry. Also, I'm really sorry for the clicking, guys. I just cannot play on a laptop like I do on a desktop, so I have a controller so that my arm doesn't go, mm. why? Why would you do that? Yeah, and um, currently, Gween is set up in a, there, her laptop is on, um, it's the most elegant of setups. Yeah, it's um, resting on <laughs> two um, portable file cabinets my Nana got me when I said I really wanted a file cabinet, which is right in front of the filing cabinet I got for my birthday because I asked for a filing cabinet. Um, and it's just kind of sat there, and she's in a chair right next to me. So that's how we're doing this. Couldn't have a better setup if we had all the money in the world. Honestly. It's incredibly portable as well. <laughs> um, also, a fun little thing, a fun little fact about what's been happening is that um, my friend Bagels, co-workers, got sick a few days ago. And this only matters because... Um, co-workers got sick and then bagels got sick and then ball ball who was over here also got sick today and i also got sick today Gween is the only one left standing but i didn't start feeling sick until i'd been in the car with Gween for two hours already and uh just it's too late i'm not worried about it i just refuse to get sick that's what my mom did with covid <laughs> Uh, which, okay, some, some information about that. Um, my mom is a school nurse, and she also has this thing where basically... Oh, these are just sticks. <laughs> I didn't realize I'd grab some sticks from you. You went really deep. How are you going to get out? I'm going to keep digging the sand until I get out. Um, Gween, yeah. here's the thing. Um, you gotta make sure to not flood everything. <laughs> Literally as you said that. It's good, I'm good. Yeah. That's why I do it, I start above sea level. That doesn't help that I was under dirt blocks. Mm-hmm. It's okay. We each have our system. That's how I'm gonna get it. <laughs> I'm so, so excited for this desert. I want to see what a desert looks like when there's no sand left. <laughs> um, I would say it looks like Springfield. <laughs> Fair. just seems so daunting to not just go all the way down. Come see what I'm doing. Nah, I know what you're doing. I'm working on it. It's called the flat earther approach. <laughs> yeah. What else would you want me to call it? I don't... I don't know. Okay, I know that shovels are more efficient, but they break so easily. Well, when they're wooden, yeah. I didn't have time to go look for stone. I know, we had to get in. It was just a bunch of dirt and then trees and you went, we need shovels and chests. 
now. We don't have to make shovels if we don't want to. Maybe uh, if I don't you're mind in a, making shovels. Maybe if you're in a mood and you don't want to mind sand anymore. <laughs> imagine. Um, you, we should. You should make some more if you want. You can always, because we are in survival. It is a thing. So, um, if you ever want to, like, go do something else while I do my single-minded task, which is just sand. So, um, I suppose the main reason why I'm streaming this is, one, to keep track of how fucking long it takes to do this, and two, um, because I genuinely want to see how many people <laughs> would watch this. I'm pretty sure it's not that many. But, what else am I going to do? I'm unemployed. Yeah. You know? Yeah, well. Man, I really wish my folk music that I listened to wasn't DMCA. If you play it on your phone, they'll hear it on the stream. No, no, that's not what I was gonna do. I was scheming. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm I assumed it because it was something really. It was. It was a, an idea. Were you about to say something really stupid? That I would have thought of, <laughs> and then I decided to uh, take that adjective off. The only re it's really stupid if I do it because I know how this works. It's not really stupid if you do it because you don't know how this works. My foot is numb. Um, then maybe you should stop sitting on it. Yeah, I know. How dare they? Bagels and Ball Ball were both around for Bagels' thing. How dare they not be here for this? How dare they get a stomach virus? Hey, I have a stomach virus. And I'm mining sand. <laughs> I just have more dedication to the craft, I suppose. doing me you're it you ain't mine and sand i'm looking at songs that aren't copyrighted <laughs> well i know we can play star bomb do you want me to play star bomb star bomb it's the music i was playing at the beginning of the stream that you couldn't hear oh I don't know where the Minecraft music went, and why I can't hear it. Do you have it turned off? I shouldn't, but I can always... It'd be under audio, yeah? Yeah. Well, it still is turned up. I don't know, man. Do you want me to turn off the daylight cycle? Yes, please. Okay. If all we're doing is collecting sand. Monsters won't spawn anyway. We're in peaceful. Okay, but do you feel like Imagine Dragons would actually be mad if I just played an album? I mean, at the very least, they'd probably take it, like... I mean, it were small enough that it wouldn't be an issue, but... These are the best non-copyrighted music of 2018. Okay, do you wanna... I can... Okay. Real fast, we're gonna pause this, and I'm going to fix a thing so that we can listen to music.
Okay. So, I'm sorry if you guys have feedback. I just can't get it to go. So, um, I guess y'all get to just not hear anything. It's alright. You vibe to your own music at home. Yeah, or listen to a podcast or something. I don't know. Or maybe we'll be cool enough that you'll just hear us. I genuinely have no clue why it's not capturing the audio at all. It's just, it's a little frustrating, gotta say. It makes you feel better. It sounds like you can hear Minecraft music on stream. You can? That's so fucking weird, bro. Why not the yeah, sorry, my phone's crap. Oh, it looks like they can hear it just through the mic. Oh, yeah. So I guess we'll just do that. Now we're not just sitting in silence. Yeah, that's fair. So what's your strategy for the sand mining? I'm just gonna kinda do it like I do when I build houses over on sand. I'm just gonna mine around the edge and then go as deep as I can, because then I've got a line. Yeah, that's what I do. But I, I tend to line it with a different material. Um, I mean, if you want to go back through and mine mine with a different material, you're all more than welcome to. No, I'm, I'm not going to. I figure we each have our own spaces. That's fair. Also, for those wondering, this is literally a playlist of copyright-free music made by Twitch. So, um, I don't know what's on this playlist. I'm gonna be honest. Honestly, so far it vibes. It is. It's pretty decent, so. I'm not mad about it. Yeah, we listened to two songs while we were trying to figure out what's wrong with my OBS studio. And I'm pretty sure it could be fixed by op re restarting OBS, but I don't, don't want to do that. What you doing over there? Digging. It was in my line, so I went for it. I see. I see. I really gotta see if Danny Gonzalez's music is free to use because I love his music so much. It is fun to listen to. What's your favorite Danny Gonzalez song? I think I've only heard the one. The one? You've only heard Help Let Me Go? Yeah. Wow. You're so uncultured. I wasn't doing much with my life up till a month ago, and then you guys were like, hey, come spend time with us. Quit being a bum. I went yoki. I never called you a bum. I'm a, well, I was a bum. I mean, to be fair, I spent most of this year unemployed. <laughs> uh, well, actually, all of this year, but last year, so I graduated spring 2020, and then I've not really had a job since. I mean, not for lack of trying. Turns out it's really hard to get a job when you have three bachelor's degrees. Okay. I think that's show tenacity. 
Hmm? I said, you'd think that showed tenacity, they well, feel like. Well, they keep being like, um, you're overqualified for this. And I'm like, thanks. How can you be overqualified for a job? That's just what I want to know. I'm pretty sure the main reason is they're like, oh, you'll find something else in Bounce. Not in this economy, Joanne. I mean, I am hoping to start my master's this fall if I can get a job so I can afford it. And I just need to get my master's so I can become a therapist and not have to deal with this. There's a lot of sandstone in this bank. Oh, there's sandstone everywhere there is sand, honey. Well, yeah, but there's just like a lot of it in this bank. It's not usually so equally matched to the sand. Hey, there's sand in the water. I don't know what that means. Look at me. Come here. Oh, my bad. I thought I picked it up. No, over here. There's sand in the water. Yeah. Can't waste sand like that. Fine, I'll just drown myself. It's really hard to drown yourself on people. That's why I laughed. I, at the beginning of mine and Mushroom's game, I intentionally tried to drown myself. And I was in the water for 30 minutes and I still couldn't fucking drown. And I just, I gave up because it was so long. because every time a shovel breaks it gets replaced with sand. Mm-hmm. You should start going out in that little island area that you've already outlined. And I'll go vertical. Oh, I was just digging in. You go down, I go up. I'm bad at bounce. Um, oh dear. Come over here. Okay. I got stuck. Just go this way, I suppose. So you'll be below sea level and I'll be above it. The perfect team. Good, good. I feel like we should be playing a game or something. How many stacks do you have? Um. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay, we're not playing that game. <laughs> <laughs> you already win. <laughs> no one can ever beat me when it comes to the amount of sand. You also started before I did because I was making shovels and chests. Exactly. Because the goal is not to win. You know what, who went? We should play a game or something. Yeah, like verbally, while we're doing this. Oh. <laughs> Bru <laughs> like, tell stories or something. So you could play the alphabet game. What's the alphabet game? I say apple, you say B, I say cat, you say donkey. Okay. And so on and so forth, and if you mess up or repeat a word. We did it in Harry Potter Club. Oh, I barely remember that. <laughs> Bro, I got a concussion and, like, most of high school is gone. <laughs> oh, that's fair. Sorry. Nah, it's fine. I was more joking than anything. I thought I did. Alright, I think I got a pretty good outline going. 
Whoop whoop. So I think I can. Oh my gosh, there's so much sand. I'm so happy. That sounded really sarcastic. I'm so excited to get to that, to the desert. Ugh, I just want to see what a desert looks like without sand. And you have to admit it's a very exciting prospect. Huh? Hmm? What'd you say? I said I did a dumb. What'd you do? I messed up my barrier. Everything that I'm good at at Minecraft is only the things that can al allow me to get better at mining sand. So I've gotten decent at moving, and it's just because it makes you have to move to get sand. I'm good at making shovels, because shovels make it faster to get sand. I just like playing Minecraft, man. I've I'm lost hours of my life to this game, and I am not sorry about it. I'm only in it for the sand. Yeah, no, like, there's a ridiculous amount of sandstone here. Um, in Mine and Mushroom's, um, world, I've found, like, 18 chests that, like, buried treasure. And I told I told Mushroom about that, and Bagels, and Bagels was like, "How many?" And I was like, "18." And they're like, and I was like, "Did you know there's chests in there?" And they're like, "Yeah." Oh hey, I think I found some clay. Woo! Or is it gravel? That's clay. See, I got four clay. Oh, because I got gravel right over there. Well, it's, no, gravel and clay do not look alike. No, but, I mean, they're both vaguely gray, so. Yeah, but clay's got, like, a blue tint to it. And also gravel has texture. Yeah, that too. I think TMG is copyrighted. Probably. Mm. I mean, especially if they've got been s a specific record label. have to look into it. We'll have to make our own playlist for music that it'll be the sand playlist. Mus grooves to listen to while you mine sand on Twitch. It's a very specific title for that playlist. I have a lot of very specific titles, okay? Have you ever heard what my playlists are called? No. Well, well I have. Yeah, one of them is called Stray Cat Bops and everybody loves that playlist. And then I also have IDFK additional spots, which is literally just playlists that just have good- It's just a playlist of, like, the best songs I've ever heard. And everybody really likes them, so I like to believe that that means that people think- Maybe uh, think that I have a good taste in music. Because for the longest time, I would play music, and they're like, ew, this is awful. My old roommates were like- Yeah, that wasn't- That wasn't me or Bagels, though. No, it was not. It was, um, uh, my ex-girlfriend. He- I feel like sand keeps falling. Like down. Well, yeah, that's what sand does. No, I mean like like the stuff that I've shoveled. I feel like it's falling down below me. Do you have a full inventory? No. It's just like it flies away from me. That dirt block looks like a person. <laughs> Where? The the one that's just floating. See? It looks kind of like a person in the distance. I guess. I thought you were pointing at me at first, and I was like, that's me. No. I know what you look like. I'll say I'm blue with purple hair. Oh, So the alphabet game? Right. <laughs> Who wants to go first? Um, I don't care. Okay. 
Um, apple. Banana. Cat. Deer. Elephant. Fish. Goat. Halibut. Iguana. Justin Timberlake. Kangaroo. <laughs> <laughs> um. Lagoon. Uh, Minecraft. Um, nautical nonsense. Um, Oprah. Passion. Um, quail. Ridiculous. Stubborn. Tuna. Uvula. Violin. Uh, Washington. Xylophone. You. Like, why are you? Yeah, then you're correcting me, and I was like, I know my alphabet. No! <laughs> Despite the delays in me having to sing it in my head to not lose. <laughs> uh, um, zebra. Um, alfalfa. Berate. Camel. Darling. Ear. Fraggle Rock. Guitar. H next? Yes. <laughs> um. Hot air balloon. Um. iPhone. Jesus. <laughs> Carl. <laughs> Carl with a K? Yeah. Like Carl Marx? Okay. It's L. Yeah, I was. Lima bean? Mice. Newport. Oregon. Potassium. Quartz. Riboflavin. Riboflavin, however you pronounce it. Star. Tuscan. Um, umbrella. Oh! Mystical! I didn't see you! Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry! <laughs> oh, she's playing too. <laughs> sorry we would have waited if we knew. Do you want to join in? We can just wait for you to answer. We can start back at A. We're good. Okay, so you... Uh, v? I don't think I ever got to you. I think you screamed and it scared me. I said umbrella. Oh. Um. Vaccination. <laughs> There's not a lot of B words out there that I know. No. Um, watermelon. Fuck! I already said watermelon. Yeah? Okay. Well, we can, we can definitely do something else. How are you doing, Mystical? 
Yes, yeah, sorry. I was so engrossed in the sand, I didn't even see the chat blowing up. It's right in front of my face. Yeah, I, I also just, like, couldn't hear it. Well, we are playing music, and you jacked around with your settings a little bit, so that makes sense. Yeah. Fair. Yay! How was dinner? I appreciate you watching us. Just going after sand. Gonna have to go make a deposit soon. Yeah, this is for too long. We need a chest dedicated to clay. Yeah, just pick one of them. I'm glad! Ugh. I Glean and I were gonna go out to eat during work today, but then I started feeling very ill. And it wouldn't be an issue if it wasn't my work. Um, because... So, basically, for my job... Yeah, that lady sounded very displeased. She was like, oh, um, okay, I guess you can go home then. And I'm like, ma'am, I have to drive a car. <laughs> <laughs> I had to hold back from going, who the fuck? Um, so basically... Oh, yeah, no, it's just a little stomach bug. Um, me, Ball Ball, and Bagels all have it. Because Bagels brought it home. You know, <laughs> like a cat. Um, anyway, so um, I was, I had a stomach bug last week. Is there a way you can scoot this over so I can read the entire message? Yeah, give me just a second. I am too blind to read it on your computer screen. It's all blurs. Ooh. Ooh, I hate that. Those suck. With the exception of my nose. <laughs> Man, I get chronic nosebleeds, so like I Oh I would definitely have one of those too. I have to reconnect now. It's my bad. I mean it's not your fault. You're right, it was yours. Why? Why, Queen? Did you do this to us? You know what? When my doctor prescribes me the right prescription for my glasses so I can see properly, we won't have these problems anymore. So really, it's my eye doctor's fault. <laughs> oh, I'm glad. Uh, it seems like, um, so Bagels' co-workers were only sick like a day or two, and Ball Ball's already feeling better, but Ball Ball has the best immune system of us all. I mean, eh. aside from, I mean, of the three sick. I was going to say. Because Gwen avoided getting sick in the first place, which obviously means she's a little bit more, um... Godly. I don't know why I was going to give you the adjective MK-Ultra. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna be like, you're a little more MK-Ultra than the rest of us, and I have no clue why. Superior immune system, Gwen. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Um... Not for the reasons you think. My brothers used to force feed me dirt because they're uh, jerks. <laughs> so I've just got all the germs up yeah. in myself. It's really small. <laughs> Sorry. Ah, that was your fault. It was my fault. I made a decision in my mind. You know, I really ought to like put some folders up there that are like secrets of the universe. Um, Obama's nudes or something just up there. So I only have a sister, so I wouldn't know. I have a brother. Um, actually, Gween. I mean, I have a sister too, but we used to get into fist fights, so. Yeah. Um, actually, all four of us have brothers. Um, I'm the only one with only one sibling, though. Although, I think I prefer my brothers over Bagel's brothers, because her oldest brother told her to drink bleach once. Yeah. He's uh, alright now. He got a girlfriend who she was all like, no, 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 no. Ten years, oh my god. My brother and I are, um... Oh no, we are not that far apart. Yeah. My sister is technically my stepsister. 
So it's February to October, and then from her, it's October to September for my brother, and then it's September to December of the next year. We're, um, uh, my brother and I are exactly three years, well, not exactly, because he was, but it's three years, three months away from each other, because he's the 11th, and I'm, or I'm the 11th, and he's the second, wow. Also, I can hear him rummaging around, because my, our entire lives, my bed has, my bedroom has always been closer to the bathroom, and I just heard him walking around. Okay, the most annoying part about this is trying to get around all the sandstone. Mm-hmm. Why is sandstone a thing? You can't really use it for anything except to make sand paths on your nice beach house that we're not making. God damn it. Um, yeah, so that's fun. But, um, oh, there was something I was saying. Do you remember what it was? Oh, I was saying what my job is. Yeah, so my job basically, um, oldest, and then we have her, but honestly, if there are more of us, I would have been a madhouse. Yeah, fair. Um, um I have three brothers. I forgot Grayson. Mm hmm. <laughs> Ball Ball has three brothers and a sister. And Bagels has two, th two to three brothers, depending on how you count them. He is only five. Sometimes I forget about him. I'm 22. <laughs> <laughs> I was out of the house before he was born. He's only five. <laughs> Sometimes I forget. At that point, he's more of a nephew. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Um, we do like to say he's an only child. My stepmom goes, he's not an only child. And I was like, he lives in a house by himself with no siblings. He's an only child. My mom was the youngest of four, and there was a nine-year gap between her and her closest brother. My mom was actually in the state. <laughs> they weren't supposed to have any more kids. Um, and, uh, that's what we like to say, that, uh, the reason she's a little wonky in the head is because... My grandma <laughs> find out, found out she was pregnant immediately after they'd gone to Six Flags, and my grandma had been riding the roller coasters. <laughs> Ooh. And you're not supposed to do that when you're pregnant. She's fine. I'm, I'm obviously joking, but... Um, yeah, so there's a nine-year gap between her, so, like, even though she had three older siblings, she was essentially an only child. And she went with her sister once to a place because it was she. There was a seventeen-year gap, and um, they they complimented my aunt for having such a beautiful daughter. So it is keeping your parents young. Well, to be fair, when my dad found out that he was going to have another kid, um. He decided at 35 to join jujitsu classes, uh, make all of his current kids join them, and buy a bunch of cars that he's going to put together to make the ultimate Fast and Furious car. That's a midlife crisis. No, I know what it is. <laughs> but you try telling my dad he's having a midlife crisis. <laughs> He'd be like, I'm not that old. <laughs> You're 40, dad. Um, midlife crisis at 40. <laughs> he tried to have a quarter life crisis at 20 and his mom told him to knock it off. <laughs> she went, when you turn 40, you're allowed to have a crisis, but until then, I don't want to hear shit from you. <laughs> I was like, Grandma! Well, he's 40 now, isn't he? Yeah, well, no, he's allowed now. And he, he won't admit it. That's what, did you, have you ever heard the song, it's not Momford and Sons, it's Judah and the Lion. The reason I always get confused with Mumford and Sons is because they have a very similar sound. I've not heard that, no. Um, so it's Quarter Life Crisis, and it's so good. Um, I have a yearly life crisis. About once every December I go, oh my god, it's been a whole nother year and I've done nothing with my life. I'm in therapy, so I don't do that anymore. <laughs> Maybe I will freeze my eggs. 
Well, my mom wasn't born until my grandma was 41, so... And, like, she had just turned 41, <laughs> too, because she was, uh... <laughs> she, um... My mom was born, like, less than a week after my grandma. Midlife crisis at 40 is natural for the average American. We only live to be 60 to 80 years old now, and 80 is on a healthy lifestyle. That's also if you're rich. Yeah. My grandpa lived to be 92. Um, my grandma is 43, so it's like nine months older than me. Yeah, no, I get that. I get that, definitely. Listen, with all the health problems on both sides of my family, I'm gonna be surprised if I make it to 25. You're gonna make it to 25. I'll kill God himself if he kills you. <laughs> I appreciate that, bud. Um, my mom is actually only nine months older than my first cousin. Nine years, not months, oh my god. Um... And then I am nine years younger than the cousin closest to us in age. And I'm nine years older than our first first cousin once removed. Um, so my cousin, my oldest cousin, the one who's nine years younger than my mom, his first child is nine years younger than me. So... Actually, his only child. I'm down for a god-killing spree. Sounds like an adventure. <laughs> right? Queen, look at me. Look how much I've done. Oh, man. This is all sandstone. Bro, that hurt because you just pointed over to where I'm doing stuff and I've accomplished next to nothing. <laughs> no. Listen, yours is much deeper than mine. I guess. Oh, hello. Oh, hello? How did I get down this hole? You fell into it while you were looking at my screen. That makes sense, <laughs> actually. Oh, what am I- what I'm currently doing, um, in the game or, like, my job? Are you gonna make a base? No. No, we're just mining sand. Yeah, the goal of it is basically, I absolutely love mining sand. So, we're trying to mine enough sand and put it in, um, in, um, Put, mine enough sand and put enough sand in chests to crash the game. I want this game to refuse to open because of how much sand we have. This sounds like it does. Go. It really does. Like I thought it was for a second. I went, wait. Oh, it's probably like a pre-made something. Probably. I'll be right back. Bo Burnham. No, it's Adam Nystrom rumors. I know there's like a widget you can do that a lot that like um, it shows, um, what music you're listening to, so we should, I, I'm definitely gonna look into that one. Yeah, I know you can't hear it very well. I don't know why, but my music, like, my, my computer is refusing to believe that there is desktop audio for it to be recording, um, and I have no clue why. And so you're only hearing it from <laughs> my microphone, which is right next to my TV, which is where we are hearing the music. And I've never had this problem before. I don't know what the issue is. So. Oh my god. See, I am very incredibly new to this, so. Oh, 
Oh, we went to the restroom. I had heard her leave, saw her leave, and still was like, where'd she go? I actually do not have the full page ready in terms of like on Sims, the most sad part of the game for me is making my house. Oh, fair. I don't like decorating in The Sims either because they don't have a very wide selection. Um, but in Sims, I like um, I like making house layouts. I've gotten much better at them. That's what I um, I like to design my dream home a lot, and. Um, what I'll do is I'll like make the layout that I really want and then just kind of throw shit in there. So, um, and that's how I, um, do that. And just because of the whatever. And, um, I actually have this other game called, uh, 3D Home Designer. It was only like $5 on Steam. And I, um... I designed my dream home that I want really, really, really bad. And, uh, I want a home that was already made. Yep. I feel that. I feel that. And, um, Gween was, I, I, okay, so it's actually really funny. I showed my dream home to Gween and I was like, oh, this is why I did this. And this is why I did this. And she was like, she's like, you're fixing houses. I was like, okay, okay. I, I, I just, I'm just a lazy person. I don't like to do things. Cause like it's got a thing for like an elevator in it, which is mostly for, because like a lot of, so like mushroom has um, like a lot of joint pain. One of my cousins was, um, he is uh, quadriplegic, so. You want to let people in, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Excuse me. Sorry about that. I'm not even that tired. I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> it's definitely not in that time. It's 8.30 at night and I didn't wake up until 11. That is true, I am sick. Oh shit, I forgot to call. Okay, so when I say I'm unemployed, that's not necessarily true. I am technically employed at a temp agency. What about 8 a.m., but I went to sleep at like 3 a.m. I went to bed at 2 a.m. Um, I was just reading and didn't realize what I was reading um, or how late it had gotten or anything. Oh, I'm full. All right, time to go. What did I miss? Um, we were talking about houses um, and talking about reading. Oh. I'm full. Mystical, if it makes you feel better, I would always be willing to design you a home. Not to uh, kerfuffle my own feathers, but I do be really good at survival homemaking. Come here, son. There we go. Yeah. Like I said in Sims, my main goal is normally the baby farm, which is where you attempt to get one sim who is descended from every other sim in the game. I find it incredibly fun. 
Yeah, we could always play Minecraft together and, like, I could do a house building workshop. <laughs> sure. After we destroy this world with sand. Yeah, no, I'm totally down for that. I'm just saying. If I showed you some of the houses off my PlayStation, you'd be like, on survival mode? What? And I'd be like, I wasn't doing anything. <laughs> Fair. There wasn't much else to do. <laughs> yeah, Minecraft cross plays. Um, my friend Swims plays off his computer while I play on my PlayStation all the time, and we're playing laptop desktop right now. Yeah, so um, Bedrock is available essentially on everything. Java is only available on computer. However, Java and Bedrock cannot play with each other. That's why if you look back, there's a stream that says uh, Syl and Gleen playing Minecraft, but in reality, it's just Syl for 40 minutes playing while I'm trying to figure out how to download it onto my own account. Yeah, but that one's on Search History. Because it was supposed to be our weekly stream, but Mushroom wasn't feeling too hot. Yeah, and I have the computer skills of... <sighs> Who's older than a millennial? Gen X. Them. The forgotten generation. Yeah. <laughs> How apt. The things I know about Minecraft are incredibly varied. Like, I couldn't tell you how to make a pickaxe, but I do know it takes exactly 15 books around an enchanting table in order for you to get level 30 enchants. A pickaxe is two wooden blocks with two sticks diagonally. So, what still doesn't know I could fill in. Or bagels could. Good lord. Came in here the other day. I don't know that much about Minecraft. Continuously kept answering things before I could. Yeah, I was like, how do I put a saddle on a horse? And Bagos was like, or how do I tame a horse? And they're like, oh, da 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 Do you mean you need a diamond pickaxe Netherite? to mine nether stone? Is it nether? It's netherite. Obsidian. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I know it goes to the nether. Hold on. What time is it? 8.35. Ah, makes sense. What? My six o'clock. Oh. And it's too late to take it. Oh. Oh. I can't take it four hours before bedtime, and technically my bedtime's supposed to be set at 10 p.m. because I am an infant, but I never go to bed at that time. Yeah. Last night I went to bed at 3 a.m. You should set alarms on your phone. I have alarms on my watch, but I can't- I'm not wearing my watch right now, and then I keep forgetting to set alarms on my phone. We'll do it really fast right now. Oh. The sand can wait. <gasps> Blasphemy. Who are you and what have you done cilantro? Um, been replaced by, well, I've always cared about your health, so. <laughs> you okay. I mean, it's okay. You don't have to be an expert to play with us on Minecraft. Again, I don't know how to do anything. We're just mining sand right now. I think it also... Okay, little secret. Um, playing... Okay. <laughs> well, it depends on the person. So, playing with people like um, Bagels and Gween, I think it's very helpful. Because then they're like, oh, I'm not... Because they're very hard on themselves. They're like, oh, I'm not, like dumb in Minecraft. There's like a lot of things that I actually do know. 
Uh, meanwhile, on Search History, we actually have a um, an entire series called Non Gamer Plays, where I, a person who doesn't play video games, play video games that. Yeah, and you gotta stop being hard on yourself. Um, we play video games where. Um, oh, sweet. Mushroom is like super, super good at it and like knows everything about it. And I don't know anything. And then it's just, we have the camera on so that everybody can see Ace just going, <laughs> no, <laughs> silently behind me while I'm trying my best. Um, I just like Minecraft because it's really good for focusing my brain and. I don't know, I could just, there was once I made this whole, <laughs> it, it was like, <laughs> it was like 11 a.m. <laughs> when I started, and I got all this mossy stone, and I built this really cool, like, um, what's it called? It's not a pergola. Gazebo? Gazebo. You never remember the word gazebo. I don't know why. <laughs> this is like the third time this week. I have had to tell you what a gazebo is. It doesn't sound like a real word. Um, I had that, and then I made this really cool, like, castle thing, and it had, like, a waterfall coming down from it. And, um, honestly, by the time it was finished, I had spaced out so much into this project that it was 3 a.m. Nice. You're making good progress. Am I? Yeah, look. You're almost done with this. Oh. Neat. I'm almost out of shovels. Oh, I ran out of shovels a while ago. <laughs> um, I might make some pickaxes to get some of this stone, and then I'll make us some stone shovels. Woo woo! <laughs> oh, thanks. Mossy stone was really pretty. What added to it was the torches and then the waterfall coming down and then I had vines like a curtain on it. Dude, it looked like something out of a Swan Lake movie. I was so proud of myself. As you should have been. But my aunt came in. She got off of work. She was like, why are you still awake? And I was like, what do you mean? She went, it's 3 a.m. I went, I know it's super impressive. <laughs> Did you read what? Yeah. <laughs> Bro, you should see some of the things. Oh, when we connect this week and we should connect so that you guys can come on to my fuck it 2 a.m. shit profile. Well, we can't, um, we can't do it this weekend because remember bagels and I have to go out of town. Correct. Because every other weekend we have to go out of town. We could do it next week though. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. I'm really bad at describing things, so that makes me feel better. <laughs> like, honestly, my description doesn't do it justice. It was gorgeous. I don't know, um, me and my friend Swims, we have this profile, um, in case you didn't hear, it's called Fuck It 2AM Shit, and it's just where we go, hey, I have a crazy idea, <laughs> and we just make it. Um, we also have an entire world called Map House, where we take one one-by-one one map, and we turn it into a house. We haven't even finished the floor yet. It's been almost a year. We started at the end of last summer. I'll definitely let you know. Um... We got some cool stuff going on. We did a tower made out of terracotta it's a rainbow terracotta tower and um it's got vines hanging down from a balcony and once you jump off the vines there's a secret entrance um it's kind of scary because it's right into lava but you immediately go into water afterwards leading to the super cool um ender portal not ender portal nether portal and then there's like a secret exit too. And in that same world, I made a ginormous mushroom that's got a fairy forest inside of it. Um, Does it look like a unicorn threw up on the tower? Like, is it colorful AF? Yeah. No, but it's got, on the inside of it, it's got all of the animals you can imagine. 
plus the forest with mushroom lights for low lighting because the game doesn't have fireflies. I am also very into kawaii shit. I put mushrooms all over the place though because you can't have a ma magical forest without mushrooms. Exactly. No, actually, it's really cool. So we built it um, in a rectangle, and we did all of the uh, the colors all the way up to the top. And then what we did is we took um, cobblestone, and we surrounded it so that color peeks out of the corner. Like, um, you know those cakes that are, like, totally white, but then you open it up, and it's got, like, a gajillion colors in it? It's awesome. My bedroom's all purple and black, and there's a bee room in it. Ooh, bee room. Yeah. Although I had to wrangle my bees once because one of them accidentally got out of the door and was too chunky to get back into the door, so I had to break my door, which caused more bees to get out, so I had to lure them all with a flower. Aww. <laughs> okay, you want to know something that's super, super dumb? <laughs> <laughs> I, I did not know that you could lure animals, and I tried a survival world just on my own. Oh, no. And so I was trying to push them into this little gate. <laughs> and I, I was like, why is it not working? We do, in fact, have a Discord. We do, yes. That's what, actually, we have a search history streaming Discord. If you want to start off with that one. I mean, I guess you consider it a Noah's Ark fairy mushroom. I'd really have to show you for you to understand fully. I really, like, I you have to see it. I, I can't explain it very well. Actually, search history isn't set up. You might want to just whisper to each other what your handles are for right now. Because I forgot that Mushroom and I are not done with that at all. <laughs> Could, uh... I mean, she seems to joke at her to be other Discord. I know you're very ill. What's up? Why are you suddenly saying this again? For real, you're really gonna love it though. I have two bears. Each one has a bow tie, like one's a girl bear, she has a bow tie on her ear, and the other one's got a bow tie on his neck. And they're connected by a rainbow heart that's hollow on the inside. It's huge. <laughs> it took four hours <laughs> with three people. <laughs> oh, but it was so worth it. It looks so great. There's a survival mode with a oak cabin that I made. Because if I'm going to make a cabin, it's going to be oak or dark oak. I always hate it when I spawn around nothing but birch trees. I really, I just don't like making houses out of birch. I think the birch logs look good. I like the birch as like a flooring, I suppose. But like, it would have to be a flooring with the dark oak because they're such opposite colors. Oh, <laughs> I don't know why I thought that was bagels. <laughs> you thought it was bagels. Alright, I joined. Hello. I'm here. Dude, this playlist vibes. Why aren't these songs copywritten? Probably because they're people who were like... Uh, blah, blah. Actually, that one's probably not copyrighted because the, he didn't come up with the beat. That's probably part of it. Bow message, you're streaming? <laughs> well, were you following me, Bagels? What do you mean Twitch says I'm not? Twitch says I'm live. Oh, I love your little icon. My Steam icon is the, the white cat eating ramen. It's
it's weird that it won't give you like a notification. Okay, so apparently the reason why Bobal and Bagels are not here, or one of the reasons, is because they didn't get the notification I was live. Because apparently just being friends does not mean Yeah, that... to be fair, it didn't pop up immediately for me either. I had to look you up. Yeah, you have to follow me. Well, we were friends the other day and then I was like, okay, so it should pop up now. I just wasn't thinking about it, honestly. Oh yeah, bagels. I figured out how to do everything. Um, <laughs> Paul <We're not> on <laughs> apparently thinks I'm on search history right now when I am not. <sighs> okay. Oh, my foot's numb again. Dang it. Maybe stop sitting like a bisexual. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'll get right on that. Right when I become straight. You know what they say happens at weddings. Your Bis aunt gets drunk and says something embarrassing about you in her toast. No, bisexuals at weddings, don't you know? You have to pick a side. I really <laughs> fucking don't, though. <laughs> Sorry. Woody, Ball Ball doesn't know I have an individual one. <laughs> I froze up again. Dude. Babe. You need some, like, Pedialyte. You are an infant. We've been new. <laughs> we done new. So were you, like, watching my stream in the bathroom? Or, <laughs> like... I keep wanting to watch your TV screen while I'm, like, mining, and it's wrong. Because <laughs> it's not syncing up. I'm like, what? Yeah. Hurt my brain. I'm gonna dig into the ocean if I don't stop. You didn't message anyone or anything. How are we supposed to know? I'm about to father bagels on stream right now, y'all. Ball ball is stuck in the past. Okay, just for that, um, you're not getting modded. You're looking at the wrong one again. No, I'm trying to read. Bagels is saying that they sent it in the other server, but I haven't gotten a notification from the other server. What? She said, I tried to get someone to bring me Drumamine, but everyone I know is here. I said, you didn't message anyone or anything like that. How are we supposed to know? It's in here. Where? It's right here. Why would you do it in Discord? Dude, you have our numbers. This is four days ago, you ass. Times change. You are correct. We do have asses. I don't know. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Text my mom. <laughs> and ask her. I'm emotionally challenged. She might have something. Bagels, I'm not gonna lie, buddy. We've known each other for ten years, and still to this day, sometimes I just want to smack you, bud. Just 
text her, you asshat. We would have to leave to get it too. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm just go. No, hang on. I'm gonna come upstairs, bagels. Oh, hello. Hi, Mama. Um, do you have any Dramamine? Um, do you have anything that would be good for nausea? Because uh, bagels need some. Bagels need some and refuses to ask you. I'll go talk to Mickey. Alright, I love you. Bye. Mickey. Ugh. Oh, bagels, you're in trouble now. You might still call her mom on stream. Well, you weren't gonna do it. And all you had to do was open your door. <laughs> Bagels typing in the chat. So there's just a dog in the middle of all my stuff. Asking is not gonna do anything, bagels, you piece of shit. <laughs> um, so we'll get you some tomorrow. I just started, like, aggressively tasting taquitos. Ooh. I like taquitos. I'm just not sure what just made me taste and crave them. Oh, well, I mean, sometimes you just want taquitos. Fair. We can do a, a Discord call another time. We just can't do it right now, because, like I said... My OBS studio is refusing to believe that there is desktop audio happening like at all. Like those chicken taquitos with the Cajun seasoning that mm -hmm. have like Monterey Jack on them. Mm -hmm. Ooh, sorry. I haven't eaten since we got out of. Well, I had that sam that little Uncrustables thing, and then that little White Castle thing. But those were really small. Yeah, so I haven't like eaten, eaten. Although I forgot I ate flaming hot Cheetos earlier. Um. 
so like I had my Pepsi and if anybody goes back into the stream later and it's just like my god that was an aggressive burp but yeah that was me it happens I think my stomach hurts partially because I'm hungry I mean I could order food there's food upstairs also it's 9 p.m. Domino's is up until 10 Domino's is not good when I feel nauseous. That is correct. I'm gonna have to tattoo all your allergies on me between just bagels alone. Oh my god. Yeah, that's already a laundry list. I've had like four saltines today. Well, how much of that water have you drank? All of it? You didn't chug it, did you? Okay. I don't know if they can bow bow. Every time they eat something, like, even the crackers made them throw up. Yeah, they're not not eating for lack of effort. Have fun with your homework! Good Thank you for stopping by! Can't wait to play Minecraft with you. Yes, absolutely. We will keep in touch. We will keep in touch. Have a lovely rest of your night. What are you doing? I had to pop my back. Oh yeah, that's right. I did say I would pop your back, didn't I? You know, like when you feel better. I don't want you to like jerk yourself around because of some it, it, hold, huh, hold on. You good? Yeah. <laughs> my brain was thinking faster than my mouth could work. Fair. And um, honestly, I wasn't sure where I was going with that, so it kind of just crashed. Four o four. Sentence not found. It happens. Sometimes I'm witty, and sometimes word vomit comes out. Better than other types of vomit. <laughs> You're correct. The bonds forged on a bagel stream are forged in steel. They sure are. I agree. I think my tolerance for Minecraft is getting better. Yeah? Because it takes much longer for me to become nauseous than it used to. That's good. Man, I wish we had some of those quesadillas your mom made last night. Mm hmm Those are good. Well, I guess your brother made them, huh? Well, my mom made the sauce. It was a team effort, and they did great. Did you have any of the beans? I didn't. The beans were really good, too. Refried beans are always good. It's hard to not like refried beans unless you're just really not in the mood for them. Fair. What you up to? Just getting sand. Mine your sand. Yeah, I'm trying to fill up the rest of my bar. I've just got one and a half stacks left to go. Ooh. Give or take. Then I'll drop them off, make some pickaxes, get the stone, make some stone shovels, and then we can actually 
you know, mine. Fair. Um, I just want to get the stone before we try mining these walls and replacing them. Well, I wasn't going to replace them. I was just gonna put like a, a thing. You're you're fine doing what you're doing. Oh. I think I might have cleared out the space. Okay. Um. Um. I don't know. You might look over my work, boss. It is my first day. Wait, what sounded sarcastic? You're doing good. These sand walls are kind of par for the course. Yeah? Yeah. You're doing great. Cool. Proud of you. Great work. Now, Thanks. um, I'm gonna start heading- look at me. <laughs> um, Man, I... my character's so fucking cute. Sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna, like, drool over myself for a second. Hang on, hang on. Wow, okay. This is really hard to move in. <laughs> That's not what I meant to do. Look at us. Oh, that should just be the cover photo for this. Look how cute it is with our anime eyes. They're horrifying when they blink. BRB, that's new. Laugh my ass in? That's your new bio? <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, what sounded sarcastic though, bagels? Uh, my, they sure are. I don't think it looks creepy when they blink. <sighs> Mushroom looks hates Looks a little claymated. Mush Mushroom hates it. Um, it looks like a normal Minecraft character blinking. Um, anyway, so I am going to, uh, head to the desert. Oh. How far away is the desert? Right over there. <sighs> okay. Um. um, so if you could finish this area, the beach, I'm gonna start. What's left to finish over here? Um, go around where I was. Oh. This is the place where you told me to stop earlier and I was like, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. There's some left over here. Cool beans. Just get any sand over here you want. Okay, we've technically filled one box. No, we haven't. Because I'm moving stuff out of it. Okay, we- I- at some point in time we need to make TNT so we can just blow up all this fucking sandstone. But it'll disappear. And there's no sand under the sandstone. I guess. Oh, I found coal and copper. You just completely didn't react to that. Oh, sorry, I was reading. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, night bagels. Do Sleep it again. Well. Do it again. I hate when they blink. No. Oh, but I'm paying attention now. No, I'm already gone. Oh. Sorry. I don't know what you did. I jumped into your hole, punched you, and then jumped out. Oh. Ooh, ooh. This guy's got bars. Why did that sound so sarcastic? <laughs> They're not on his team anymore. Check his roster. Sounds like a bar to me. I think it's just because my natural default setting is sarcastic. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll have to remind my mom. Um, I have to remind myself to thank my mom for that. Why am I going this way? I just left of the speech. Oh dear God! 
There's so much beach left. And I left it all to you. I have to go empty out my stuff before I move on. You know what? I know we uh, we just streamed this just to stream it, cause why not? But somewhere out there, somebody's gonna be having a rough day, and they're gonna go, "What's the most?" This is a weird <laughs> area to have spawned in. Do you see this? Oh. Um. Okay. Weird. Anyway. I mean, you wanted a lot of sand. I sure did, but I wasn't expecting. Oh. I wasn't expecting everything else. Oh my god. It just keeps going. Okay, I found the end. I'm sorry, what were you saying? Did I cut you off on? I don't even remember. That's the problem with cutting somebody off. Um. Oh my god. <laughs> Hold on. I need to reboot. Rebooting? <laughs> Rebooting? You can't cut off somebody whose brain doesn't function normally because then they're like, what was I saying? Normally I can remember what you were saying. Oh, it was something about... There's gonna be someone having a rough day. And they're gonna be like, hey, what is the most bizarre stream I can watch? And they're gonna stumble across us and they're gonna go, you know what? These bitches get it. It didn't need to make sense. It made sense to me. That's what that's all that matters, really. <laughs> Bao Bao, are you still there? Oops. I genuinely don't know if they're still here. We only have one viewer, and I think that might just be me. Yeah, you should probably do that again. Oh, hey, there's a desert village. You need a ruby. I want to completely consume this entire desert. Yeah. This is definitely going to be a more than one day thing. Because, trust me, I've been mining a lot of sand on mine and mushrooms. And that still hasn't crashed, so. Oh, I had one block that was not fully full yet that I put away. Mm -hmm. So I was technically still picking it up. Wow. I just didn't see it. It blended in with all the other stacks of sand. Damn. What are some fun facts you know? You want fun facts that I know? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's a dangerous game. Um. I don't know. I need a topic. My I. I, I can't just choose. Um, give me some topics. Oh. Um, my brain literally hurts right now. 
I could talk about the monkey podcast I was wa uh, listening to. Sure. Um, it does involve a weird bit of monkey knowledge. Uh, namely, how to tell hierarchy in a monkey society. Oh, slash you should apes. also explain what the podcast is. Oh, so I listen to this podcast um, called Ologies by Allie Ward, and she's amazing, and she's funny, and she's always got the most knowledgeable people in their ologies on there. Because, um, believe it or not, there is more than biology and ecology. Um, so I've listened to the first couple of them so far. The first one was about volcanology, the study of volcanoes. Um, and the st second one was about primates and monkeys, that sort of stuff. Um, not, not like evolution study, just actually studying monkeys and stuff. I'm really bad at explaining stuff, man. <laughs> um, so there's like... An entire section where they talk about hierarchy in um, ape chimpanzee monkey society which is just unless it's like gorillas who only generally have one male per pack the way you can tell on primates who has the hierarchy in their society is by the size of their genitals. Mm -hmm. Um, so, and that's because they have to compete with all the other guys. So if you've got one with smaller ones, he is the loser of the pack. Which is very unfortunate. Um, but what generally happens with the ones on the lower hierarchy is they do something called sneak breeding. Oh, I've heard this. Which basically is just, um, hey, pretty primate lady, I don't want to get my ass kicked by the big guy. Would you mind sneaking behind this tree with me? That's all it is. Cheating. Yes. Now, um, it's also really interesting because in the primate world, um, most of the time, again, except for gorillas, this ex excludes them. Um, most of the time what happens is because of how many males there are and like they, they mate anywhere between six to ten times a day. So nobody knows whose kid is theirs. So they kind of just co-parent all of the babies because they're like, it could be my kid, it could not be, I don't know. Um, it's very interesting. The difference being with chimpanzees, they still breed fairly vastly. However, they're much more violent. <laughs> Male champions, chimpanzees will actually, like, beat on the females, and vice versa. The females will, like, attack them. If you are a lower male in chimpanzee society, and, like, a zookeeper was to throw a piece of fruit at you, and you saw a lady walking by, they won't pick up the fruit due to the fact that if they do, they're scared of getting their ass kicked by this woman chimpanzee. Jesus. Yeah, so that's how you can tell the difference. If it's an alpha, he'll pick up that fruit. He'll be like, come at me, bitch. Let's do this. <laughs> I don't know. Monkeys are crazy. Apes are crazy. It's bananas. Oh my god. Yeah, no, I did that. Uh, <laughs> I can't tell who's worse. You were ball ball. Well, that's no competition. For who? Bao Bao's absolutely got better puns than I do. I mean, that is true. But he's rubbing off on you. A little bit. Um, so, now the reason gorillas are different is because since there's only one male, 
They have the smallest testicles. Mm-hmm. And it's just so weird to think about evolution-wise. Did you know that humans have the largest penises of the entire primate family? Yeah. I learned that in the human sexuality course. You know... Even if I hadn't helped you pack your books the other day and saw the course books for that, I still don't think I'd be surprised. <laughs> Listen, okay, so for my psychology degree, you have to take... So there are four main branches of psychology that have different approaches to how psychology works. So there's, like, behavioral, biological... I honestly don't fucking remember them. Um, and... Um, so you have to t you have to take three electives, and they have to be in at least three of the four branches. So I actually wound up taking a t the, essentially the same class, but through through two different psychological approaches. So like one of them was called sex differences, and it was a biological approach, and the other one was human sexuality, and it was a behavioral approach. And honestly, the, the behavioral approach just made more sense to me because the, the, um, biological one, he's like, yeah, so it's like, and I mean, I, th I think they're both valid. I don't think one of them is better than the other, but, um, so like, what is this rabbit doing? What are you guys doing? You've just been here. Are you not gonna? He's hopping. There goes Peter Cottontail running down the bunny trail. Anyway, so basically he's like, men and women are hardwired to be different, and da 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 da, and didn't even mention, like, the fact that there are, um, commonly within humans, do you know how many genotypical, um, sexes there are? And, okay, also, uh, for clarification, do you know the difference between sex and gender? Um, I thought I did. Okay, so sex is, like, biological. It's, like, um, what parts you have, your, um, uh, genotype, um, but generally it's the phenotype of your genes, so, like, okay. Your yeah, sex, <laughs> your sex is like, do you, is like male, female, intersex. Those are, um, the three sexes, quote unquote. Um. Okay, then yeah, I, I did know the definition. I just, you were sounding all like professory and I felt stupid for some I'm reason. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, I'm sure you know more than you do also because I probably have already told you this like eight times. Um, well, no, I also, there was that YouTube video of that girl who was like, there are like a hundred and fifty genders or sexes or she said something and I was like what yeah so genders are completely non-biological um, we don't know much about gender at least as far as I know I, I'm still doing reading and stuff but oh, I like just bit my tongue <laughs> oh no I was so focused <laughs> um, so basically what um, the gender is basically um, so like a lot of transgender people are people whose sex doesn't line up with their gender. Cisgender people are people whose sex lines up with their assigned gender. Or their gender signs up with their assigned sex. Um, and you know what? Your sex can actually be wrong. Because there are not only three sexes in humans, at least uh, genotypically. Phenotypically, yes, there are only three. Because the only options are technically... Does it have a penis? Does it have a vagina? Does it have both? Or neither? Um, and I know a lot of times there's this absolutely awful thing that happens for a lot of intersex babies where they'll be born with two sets of genitals and then the parent gets to decide their sex and get one of the pairs of genitals removed. And it's fucking disgusting. 
and should be illegal. Um, anyway, so, um, but genotypically, there are six different sexes. Um, so they're the, the most com at least, but those are, these are just the common ones. And so it's like, um, X, 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 Y, you know, those are the ones you're taught in school, but there's also, um, X, X, Y, Y, X, and I think X, X, Y, Y. Those are the th six most common. So, um, and they present different ways. That's what like, um, just because... Um, so like, okay, there was this, um, person who she identified as a woman. Um, she was born, um, with a vagina, um, and she had boobs and they genotyped her and she actually genetically was X, Y. So genetically should have been a male, but she's not because she had this, I mean, at least her sex should have, quote unquote, should have been male. Um, but it wasn't because she has this thing called androgen sensitivity disorder, which basically means, so like androgens, and, and I can't remember this part exactly, so I could be a little bit wrong, but I know that the basics of what I'm going to tell you is correct. Um, if it blows up, someone will tell you you're wrong. People are always... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But anyway, so basically, um, androgens, androgens are like, um, I can't remember if they're specific for male bodies, but, um, it's a, um, it's basically a hormone or something. It's a thing that causes, um, like in the womb and also in like puberty, it's what causes the production. Cause basically when you are a fetus, you have both. That's just how it goes. Um, you have two different sets of gonads. Um, every single person who exists has had a penis and a vagina and has had testes and, uh, um, ovaries. But then the genetic code gets read and the androgens, I can't remember if the androgens are just, like, presence of androgens means stop production of the vagina and turn it into a piece for male, um, or what. But basically, the, something about the androgens tells your body, okay, we're gonna make, we're gonna use the testes and penis parts, and then the other one is like, and then, like, it's like, okay, we're going to make a vagina and ovaries, and then later on in life, you know, the androgens pop up again, and that's um, what tell what causes, you know, boobs and, um, you know, uh, facial hair, height, all that stuff. Um, but, um, so androgen sensitiv and sensitivity disorder basically means genetically, this woman should have had a lot of androgens and they were there. However, she had a disorder where she couldn't like her, um, that's two babies and an adult. <laughs> Just the immediate head turn to you. Yeah. Like, rabbits are so creepy at eye level <laughs> because they will just whoop. Like the fucking omen child right Oh at my you. god, they're doing it again! <laughs> See? Oh, it's even worse when they're facing each other and then they face you. Uh-huh. Sorry. Yeah, but basically with her androgen insensitivity, um, her body, even though there were androgens, they couldn't be read or something. And so because of it, she developed a vagina. And not a, not testicles and a penis. And she wound up being happy about this because she's like, oh, thank God, because I'm not a dude. Um, you know. What? I remembered another fact for my podcast. Yes. So, um, I don't know if this is all zoos, but it was definitely the zoo, um, that was in the podcast when the monkeys, apes, chimpanzees, whatever kind of primate they have, turn like five or six 
they will put them on birth control because of how overpopulated it would get without that. Mm hmm Because they are so closely dna to us that they could just, they could take trispring tech. <laughs> I was like, what? I know we're two closest, um, our two closest primate, uh, um, not ancestors, but like buddies, are bonobos and chimpanzees. Which is really funny. I think it's it's very apt for humanity that bonobos are like the most chill set of monkeys and chimpanzees are warlike. They actually did a study in the zoo. Sorry, there's more facts. <laughs> I'll, I'm just slowly remembering the whole podcast. Mm -hmm. They did a study where they separated the guys and the girls and what happened was the guys were just like super chill and this was with the chimpanzees I think mm -hmm. um I don't know why I don't just shorten it to chimps for whatever reason I think they're two separate kinds of primates and yeah. I know that's not true <laughs> um but they like they separated the males from the females and like the the men were just like yeah we're chilling there's no competition there's no need to be all I am the alpha mm -hmm. be women <laughs> um <laughs> turned into full-on mean girls. <laughs> it was ridiculous. They would just, like, fight. And because it was all a competition. Because, like, when female chimps um, get older, they will leave their herd and move to separate herds. So there's nobody there who's related to them. Mm -hmm. So that competition instinct is always in there because, like, there's nobody there related to them to care for them. So they're on their own. Yeah. Oh, also, did you know um, humans are incredibly weird because, <laughs> well, there are multiple reasons, but specifically in this context, because most other animals, and I think specifically in this context, it would be like um, other primates, it's basically, um, you, so you know how in humans you want, like, you have the best chance of having a good and healthy child at having them young, you know? So, like... Well, youngish. Well. well, like, in your 20s. So, like, in your prime, yeah. you know? When you're still young. Not, like, 14. Oh, my God. that The body's not done. Post-puberty, but young. You know, like... Yeah. Right post-puberty. And then we have menopause, because... And, and the reason we it's best, then, is because of menopause. Oh, man. What? my legs I have the inability to put my feet on the ground <laughs> so my feet are constantly numb yeah <laughs> bro <laughs> <laughs> oh god I'm so sorry hey listen your laptop would have been the first thing to go <laughs> I didn't even think, man, I should put this controller down. I was just holding onto my controller and then almost cannonballed into you. I'm sorry. It's okay. It happens. So anyway, um... Bow Bow says, I mean, obviously they're weird. <laughs> yeah, so, um, humans are weird because we, you know, after a certain point in time, women aren't fertile anymore. Well, in chimpanzees and other primates, you want an older woman. Like, women in their equivalents of, like, the 50s, 60s. Because the more, the old, the older uh, a primate is, the more likely their child is to survive. Because they have more experience and well, can raise Well, then, primate infancy death rates are ridiculous. Honestly, until they're 12 years old, they're not sure if they'll make it or not. Yeah. Um, and so, but it's weird because we're the only primate that has menopause. Every other primate can keep squirting out babies till the day they, the day they die. They never run out of eggs. It's just the earth trying to tell us to knock it off with this overpopulation. Well, bullshit. no, it's because we, um, the goal is that basically when women turn 40, or 50 or 60, basically, they stop producing babies because we're so social 
it is literally built into our DNA that older women then take care of grandchildren and help the younger ones. Hmm. Which is why our infant mortality rate is not as high. Because we're a social group. Wild, isn't it? Yeah. Humans are aggressively social creatures. Weren't we also supposed to die much earlier? Uh, not necessarily. I mean, don't chimps tend to have, like, the same age range? I mean, ish, yeah. But the point is that, like, we... It is built in that older women take care of the younger groups. And that's what even our men become less fertile as they get older because they're supposed to help younger generations. Less, but not completely infertile unless you've already gotten a test. So listen, gents. Wrap it before you tap it. That's how you have a five-year-old sister. <laughs> That's how- I, I have a five-year-old brother. <laughs> That's what I meant. <laughs> Wasn't there also, like, something where, like, Genghis Khan had, like, over a thousand children? What? I swear to God, he had, like, a shit ton of kids. Because, also- Okay, also, do you know, biologically, what differentiates, like, if you- Okay, if there's an animal, and they don't have the same stuff as us- um, so, like, with hyenas and seahorses, what makes one a male and what makes one a female? How do they choose? Because, like, male seahorses are the ones who are pregnant. So, why are they male? I thought male seahorses just carried the babies. They do. But, how is that different? Because, basically, so, in humans, um basically the egg and the sperm meet in the woman and that's how they become that's how and then they grow up there now in in seahorses the the girl and I, this could be wrong but i'm pretty sure the woman injects the egg into the male and the male uh inseminates it internally and then keeps it i think that's how that works yeah so what's the difference we can't lay eggs? They don't lay eggs either. Well, I mean, she's putting the eggs into a pouch. Well, but we call ours eggs, too, don't we? And what is a uterus but a pouch? Yeah, but our pouch isn't like a kangaroo pouch. After fertilization, that get transferred. They still meet in the female. Okay, but the point is, the male carries the babies. So being female is not because of, of whatever. It's actually what cell you provide. So, because like, basically, way, 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 way back when life was still single-celled or very few cells. Um, what? <laughs> Why did you snicker at that? <laughs> Because you said what back when life was single saw and all I could think was a YouTube video where it goes, Are you coming out today? No. Why? The sun is a deadly laser. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just thinking, no, sorry, I'm still a piece of garbage. <laughs> and I was like Sorry. Yeah. So basically the difference is what how many things you make, essentially. So um back when celled organisms were brand new, there were two different approaches to how to mate. One approach was we are going to spend as much energy as we can spare on this one cell. And we're going to make sure that this cell is good, has good genes, we put a lot of energy into it to make sure that it's good and everything, and to make sure that um, it's going to survive. The other one was, well, if I put out a thousand, 
Uh, surely one of them will survive. So basically, the only difference in the the process of like whatever and and um, sexual reproduction to make a male or a female is um, males are quantity over quality and females are quality over quantity. Do you know how much semen the average male produces per day? A shit ton. <laughs> Thank you. That was very helpful. I actually don't know. Did you? No, but I know that primates produce like six times more than that because they mate ten times a day. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's what also, um, they're, I'm pretty sure in my human sexuality class they talked about the fact that it is entirely possible that um, the human nature, the most natural sexuality is not heterosexuality. Guess what it is? Queen. Sorry, I'm googling male human to primate sperm production. <laughs> <laughs> what was the question? <laughs> Um, okay, what do you think is the natural, um, do they, there's a theory that there is a quote-unquote natural and standard sexuality. Guess what it is. I don't know. It is not heterosexuality. Yep, oh. Bob all got it. It's bisexuality. Because humans, like bonobos are, like, this weird group where sex is, like, pleasurable, right? You know, we just have fuck buddies. You just have sex for fun. We masturbate for fun and for profit, I guess. <laughs> um, and also for dopamine. And most dangerous animals can't tell the difference. I'm sorry, what? I don't know what that means. Okay, blah, blah. so the actual difference is chimpanzees um, are 1 billion milliliters, while the human male produces an average of 64 million milliliters. But the gorilla is actually below, because he is the only male, he do, he can just go and make a baby whenever he um, feels like it. Um, he only produces 5 million milliliters, mm. which is a surprisingly low amount considering the average human male. Yeah. Well, but in, in, okay, so also there's different types of sex differences. So, like, um, in, you know how, like, in, um, so basically there are some animals where, like, males and females, specifically females, will, like, so, like, in dogs, you know, um, when they aren't, um, like, <sighs> When they aren't, like, you know how there are fertile Doing periods? It like they do on the Discovery no, but, Channel? But you know how there's, like, fertile periods? So, like, think about animals that are kind of like humans. When they're not in heat? Yes. You know how when they're not in heat, they just kind of look the same? And when they are in heat, <laughs> they tend to have physical differences? I know they, like, pant more. They pant more, and there's also, I, I'm not sure if it's specifically dogs, but, like, I'm, I'm, I think it might be monkeys or something, but basically they, like, like, a woman, a female, I think it was some sort of primate, um, of this, like, one primate, when she is really close to estrus, her ass is red as fuck. Baboon. Yeah, the closer she is to estrus, it might not be baboon, it might be something else, but the closer she is to estrus, the fucking redder that ass is. And so because of it, competition for her gets really intense the closer she gets to estrus. It's kind of like a signal of, come fuck me, come fuck me. I'm fairly certain it's the baboon. Yeah. Um, and then, um, in humans, what is the difference between um, when you're in your fertile period and when you're not? I really want a Snickers bar. No. That's when you're on your period. So, you are correct. So, <laughs> that is the exact opposite part of the cycle. <laughs> um, 
so basically there isn't a difference. And the reason for that is because we are social animals that are supposed to, I think one of the theories is that we are monogamous. And in monogamous relationships, you really don't want it to be obvious that your girl is about to have sex. Because, you know, Jack could probably tell you when, could probably tell if you're fertile, right? I don't uh, know. Well, okay, like, you and your fiancé both know essentially when you're fertile. Or you have a better chance of it. Versus, like fucking Joe Schmo at the end of the street can't just look at you and be like, yeah, she's ovulating. <laughs> yeah, I guess. You know, so it's like, what? Doubt what? What are you doubting, Ball Ball? In most of nature, animals can animals can literally smell when somebody is ovulating. Yeah. Well, this was before ovulation. This was about sexuality. I doubt Dak could just look at her and tell if she's ovulating. I'm not saying just look at her, but it's like one of those things where, like, I'm sure he could be like, well, she's a little more into it than normal. She's a little more, you know suggestive with her wordplay than normal. Um, you know, it could be... It probably also helps that I am too lazy to get up in the morning, so he's the one who gives me birth control every morning. Mm-hmm. Like, well, well on I'm top of my you, other medications, Yeah, I'm but just like, saying, like, if it wasn't. But, okay, imagine we're in a world where you don't have to take any medication, and you're just living out in the wild, right? Yeah. Jack would be the only guy capable of, like, knowing when you're more likely to be fertile because you'd be more yeah, open baboons. to having sex. See? Yeah. Yeah. You'd be more open to having, uh, you know, the tango and everything. <laughs> and, um, the only reason I'm being weird about this is because I couldn't figure out how to make it so that it's over 18. I, so this isn't marked as over 18. Anyway, so, um... I think we left that when I said that, um, chimpanzees have smaller testicles, the bitchier they are. Yeah, but still. Anyway, so, basically, your monogamous partner is able to tell, is gonna have an easier time telling if you're ovulating, versus if you had, like, boobs that only inflate when you're ovulating. And then every single person walking around would be like, oh, she's wearing a bra! You know? Dude, I think I would actually throw myself into a volcano if that was a thing. I wish we were like dogs <laughs> where we only cut poops when we're pregnant. <laughs> that would be nice. Yeah, but then I'd have to deal with the fact that I'm kind of not in shape. <laughs> What? I feel like if you only had boobs when you were pregnant, you'd have to work on the rest of your figure more to have like a healthier body on the inside. I have no clue what you were trying to say right now. That's fine. Like, I'm just not, not understanding the premise of your argument. It wasn't really an argument. It no, was argu like argument, a... argument in like the whenever argument not in the like heated way more in the like your side or like what you're trying to say are you speaking debate to me right now i think i am accidentally speaking <laughs> to you. i was never on debate team no but you were surrounded by people who were yeah and i've also had to write a shit ton of arguments i mean essays argumentative essays and shit so Isn't cursing alone enough to make it over 18? Yes, it is. I was just asking. I don't know. Honestly, I couldn't tell you the point of my argument. I knew what it meant in my head, but I, c I couldn't explain it. <laughs> Fair. Look how much I've done. This was a mountain. Nice. I'm clearing out this island over here. It's like a crescent moon shape. Oh, 
Um, it was actually just on the other side of our chest, because our chests are right around that corner. Mm -hmm. And I went, how did we miss this? See, it goes pretty far, and then there's all that over there that I still have to get. And then you can see our chests are right there. Oh, okay, well, well, I get it, I get it. Yeah, that's fair. But also, back pain wouldn't be a thing. Well, and that's what I was saying, though, is if you have weight on your stomach and, like, it's there to balance out the rest of you, if you still had that and you only had boobs while you were pregnant, you'd have to work on the rest of that so that your, like, back didn't, you know? <laughs> yeah. True. I never thought of the fact that having boobs all the time is kind of, like, Thank you, Bow Bow. For our... Same brain. Have you noticed that we all need translators for each other? Like, <laughs> we all are we each also, other's translators. Because we all, like, remember there was, like, that thing where me, um, Ball Ball and Bagels were all, like, arguing because we just couldn't understand what each other was saying, and you're like, I got it. And well, to you, be fair, I was sitting back on the recliner while you all three were just standing in front of me. It was like watching a sitcom. Fair. I knew where the misunderstanding came from, but you guys didn't. Yeah. It's the dramatic irony without so much drama. Um, but yeah, it does help to have, like, four people who have the same brain network going on. Yeah. Oh my god. This is- I so fucking wish we had caught it on camera. <laughs> but basically there was this point, um, yesterday where, um, Bagels and I, we were- okay, so- uh, a fun fact for people who may be watching this in the future, because I know at this exact moment the only people here are the three of us. Um, but, in case anyone finds us in the future, um, like, three quarters of us have ADHD, <laughs> and, um, the other quarter, which is me, has a TBI that presents like ADHD, and a TBI is a traumatic brain injury. Um, so my concussion then made me also vaguely... ADHD. Peru just wasn't kind to you. It was not, and I don't think it was Peru's fault. I think it would have happened in, like, France or shit. I don't um, know. I feel like in France they have, like, linoleum, at least, on their bathroom floors. Yeah, but this was, like, in someone's house. It was just a concrete floor in a house? Well, it wasn't concrete. It was their, like, guest room, and it, so it was, like, a shower and a bathroom at the same time. Oh. But I don't think it would have helped... It, they were like concrete bricks, kind of. I mean, the point is, is that if you fall off of a toilet after from passing out, and you hit your head twice, this is like when your mom goes to Canada. Yes, because Canada's trying to kill my mom. But I think <laughs> it's just my luck, because my luck is always the first time I do anything is the worst time it ever is. Is that the first time I ever drove was backwards at night on gravel. First time I ever entered onto the interstate. There were two semis who were passing each other, and there was a mile-long bout of traffic. Um, you know, first time I went abroad, I got absolutely horrible, and then I went to Costa Rica, and I was fine. Yeah, but, like, I'm just saying, I don't feel like going up on a volcano and getting... What, what was it? Carbon monoxide? Okay, but, like, I was at an active volcano. Like... Um, I'm just saying, I don't think it helped with your throat infections, bronchitis, or asthma. That was Costa Rica! Was it Costa Rica? Yeah! I didn't do that in Peru! Peru has volcanoes. Yeah, but I wasn't th Wait, does it? Yeah! Well, I wasn't there. It, it was oh, in that's my true. volcano that's podcast, true, that's true. because no. I was like, Peru has horse bandits? And you went, yeah. I wasn't there. I was in Cusco. And then I was on Lake Titicaca, and then I was in Machu Picchu. And that was about it. Machu Picchu. Wow. Machu Picchu. Way to sound like a native there. <laughs> well, just my voice craft, and I did the open O thing that I do a lot. <laughs> yeah. It's my inner St. Louis. Um, <laughs> Got that blue spirit. A blue spirit? No. <laughs> Sorry, I like hockey. <laughs> yeah, clearly. Um... But no, it wasn't Peru's fault, it was just the first time I'd ever been abroad, and so my, my luck was just like, that's what I remember before I went, I was gonna be like, Mom, this is gonna be the worst time I've ever been abroad. I remember telling her, I'm like, this is not gonna be great, there's gonna be some problems. But it'll be okay. I didn't expect it to be this bad, but, you know, still. It could have been significantly worse, but it wasn't. 
more backstory. We, uh, there is a baseball and a hockey team for St. Louis. Um, I prefer hockey because nothing, nothing ends your day quite like watching a bunch of guys beat each other up over a puck. I literally watched a guy get his jaw broken for the Stanley Cup. It was awesome. Oh, the thing I was saying was, um, basically, um, so essentially the four of us have ADHD. If you couldn't tell. And, um, the way ADHD kind of, like, a very common thing that ADHD friends do is because everybody fucking forgets everything they're saying all the time and everybody kind of pays attention, you know, we have that habit of finishing each other's sentences. So this is, uh, this leads a lot of times to, um, this leads a lot of times to, um, moments where we speak in unison because the person will be talking, the person they're talking to, or one of the people they're talking to will, like, know where oh. they're going. What? I hit one block and it fell down and a bunch of blocks broke. Yeah, it was probably, like, a, essentially a pit trap. Interesting. Look at all these free blocks. Sorry. <laughs> whoop, whoop. Um, so, basically, like, that's just kind of, you know, so, uh, but then it's like, so it's like someone will go in to help them and, like, will start finishing their sentence and because we know each other really well, we know each other's tone, like, the tones we would use. And so then when, um, uh, but then that person will remember what they're saying and won't have needed the help, and then it'll just wind up that we're all just talking in unison now. Um. And it's very funny, um, but the thing that happened a couple days ago was Bagels and I did it. We did that exact thing, but it was like, um, so Bagels started the sentence, and then I joined in, and then we finished the entire sentence in exact unison, and at the end of it, we're like, oh my god, why did that go on for so long? And I was like, and I was like, sorry, I was trying to finish your sentence. And she's like, I was trying to finish your sentence. Um, and so apparently, but the sentence was, and this was said in the exact same tone. The only word that was different was, hey. So it was, hey, you remember July 7th, 2021? What were you mad about that day? That exact sentence. Just. <laughs> what? Yeah, in What did I miss? I, I left for two days to be depressed, though, in bed, and I missed everything. I'll tell you what it was about later, but... Okay. Um, you were texting us about it. Was I? Yeah. It was about your dream. Oh! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so anyway, um... I started the conversation. You did start the <laughs> conversation, actually. Well then, that uh, uh, makes sense. <laughs> it's accurate, actually. Anyway, so, um... I'm starting to get dizzy from just staring at the sand. I need to stare at something that isn't sand for a minute. I got a view for you. What do you got? Oh, I was just gonna wink at you and then make you giggle and blush. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I ruined it. I ruined it. Fine. I thought you were talking about your screen, so I didn't even look at your face. My bad. No, it's good. As a bisexual, I'm used to being too awkward to flirt. Oh, yeah, bisexuality. The reason why they think <laughs> bisexuality is natural um, to humans is because um, basically they think that um, it was a social thing. So back in ye olden days, um, basically humans evolved because we are, like, as a species... Our strength is brains. We are not the brawn. I know a lot of, like, super macho men like to convince themselves that, that, that they're brawn, but it's not. Humans, historically, have survived best when we're brains. Yeah. So it's like teaming up. So, why is bisexuality, then, good for this strategy of teaming up? <laughs> yeah. Because they've also found that psychologically... Sleeping with somebody, in a, the, not even in a sexual way, like, just sharing a bed, um, increases your trust, like, ex implicitly, 
um, for that person. Um, because basically it's like a subconscious thing where it's like, wow, I was in my most vulnerable state right next to you and you didn't do anything to me. So that's what, like, if you're a couple and you're like not trusting each other, just spend a night in bed with each other and don't have sex and it'll, it'll be great and it'll help a lot. That's what... That's how I think I speed ran a couple of my relationships because I had a, I had this friend who was friends with me in, uh, in youth group back when my parents forced me to go to church and she, um, she was like a really close friend. And then like one of the first things we did with each other is we went on a youth mission trip and we were assigned to share a bed in a hotel room. And so like the next morning I remember I woke up and I was like, I would die for this person. And she was like. I remember looking in her eyes and I could tell she would die for me. And I remember like, I got a fat phobic comment later in the day and she like, she is not an aggressive person, but she like literally like made the most scandalized face and stood up and like pulled back her sleeve. And I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Cause it was another, it was another person on our trip. And I was like, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. We're in a church. <laughs> um, you're going to get in massive trouble. But anyway, so basically they're pretty sure bisexuality is a thing because, um, especially in men, you know, because, um, essentially when the women were off being pregnant and, um, you know, whatever. So, um, uh, like basically back in the olden days, they were pretty sure it was set up where it was like one woman and like 10 men. And the way it would be set up is essentially they would take turns getting the girl pregnant um and while they she was pregnant and they were waiting their turn they just have sex with each other you know just between themselves they're pretty sure that's how initially our social structure started being formed which is also it gives a, a good evolutionary reason as to why there's a g-spot in the anus for men That does make more sense. Mm hmm So, yes. Um, men are supposed... Um, one of the anus' functions, according to this theory, is to take a dick up the ass. So, sticking a lamp up there, that's not natural. <laughs> but, uh, the dildo, yes. It's 100%. It has to be marked 18+. plus. <laughs> yes! 18 plus knowledge, but still in green. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, should I should make a YouTube channel, huh? Oh! It's like 10 p.m. Yeah, I did notice that. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting a little dizzy. Uh, so I'm gonna fill up. Which I'm almost... Actually, I'm... Okay. These coordinates are... If we save, won't you just pop back up here? Well, but I'm going to kill myself so I can... Okay. <laughs> I'm going to kill myself so I can get to the... Sh to the... Why don't you just teleport to me? Because that's way more typing. Okay. I was just... I'm right by the chests. It's way more typing, though. Negative two, six, eight, eight... Two, four, seven, three. Oh, I didn't take the K. Dang it. Oh. What? I was paying attention to you instead of what I was doing, so I dug myself right into the ocean. Oh, fuck! I didn't have keep inventory on. Oh. My bad. Two, six, eight. That was probably just as well. My computer's about to die.
a stack of sand. I might have disappeared because you took too long. No, it definitely didn't. There it is. Got it all. Are these crackers naked? Yes. Are you willing to share? Yes. What? Ooh, they taste like baked lays. This is not the best way to do this, and I am aware. Do the command to go at Pinguino. Well, it doesn't help that I already left. Oh, fuck. Well, Let's do you remember see. what the chords were? For me? Yeah, when you left. Well, I'll just go over there, I guess. Sorry, my computer was dying. Can you not just... Teleport to spawn point? That wasn't an option. I'm pretty sure we're over here. Do you want me to have Jack pick me up? Yes, please. I can definitely see where we've been. <laughs> this is a nice seat. I like it. Some dolphins over by me. See, that's where I was. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, wait. back where I was. Okay. So, this is where we're going to stop for today. Um, thank you for hanging out with us. Um, and thank you, Ball Ball. I do also believe that the sand is coming along nicely. So, um, we'll see you again sometime um the game has not yet crashed so we are not yet finished um do you have anything to say Gween? um you would go right over to me while i'm eating <laughs> i'm like a waitress <laughs> <laughs> yes um all right all right have a good day because you should, not because I want you to. And also night, because it is currently 10.06 p.m. Goodbye! Bye! So I have a problem. I eat like Tony Stark. Oh, I get you. Plus, I didn't know these crackers were going to taste like baked Lay's, and I'm addicted. Why does it say I have an app? Oh. Pending. You know what this means? Huh? That means I'm gonna have three discords blowing up my phone all day. <laughs> Alright, Jack should be on this way soon. These are really salty. Okay. Oh.